From a shortage of inspectors to a lack of candidates, today was the filing deadline for candidates who want to appear on the ballot for the August primary election. But for positions all over Michigan, there are either not enough people running to fill the open seats or nobody is running at all, including the incumbent. Six News reached out to Matt Grossman at the Michigan State University Institute for Public Policy and Social Research for his take on this phenomenon. He says while well, there are times when open seats lack competition, even between parties, it's a bad sign when nobody wants to run at all. Certainly it's a problem if we have seats that no one wants to fill. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes if there's an existing uh, legislative body and uh, maybe only a few seats are up in that year, then the legislative body can fill the open seats in some other way. Um, so it's not always, um, you know, an a unsolvable problem. But I would say it's not a good sign uh, if people aren't willing to, to file to, to fill the available uh, seats. As for why this might be happening, Grossman says it might have to do with the race for the president, where both major party candidates are relatively unpopular. The August election is for partisan races, and anyone who runs is likely to be associated with their party's candidates higher up on the ballot.